Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch your record on Wednesday. Today, I, I just got home. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. We went on a hike today before it started raining. It was really nice this morning. Now it's raining, so it's dreary. It's why the lighting's really not good. <laughs> but um, we went on a few miles hike earlier, and it was a lot of fun. But we're home now, and I'm a little sore. My feet are sore. I wore the wrong shoes. <laughs> but I got a new whip to share with you guys. I started this... Um, when did I start this? Last week sometime. But I'm using some mandala yarn. Just regular mandala. <laughs> so it's a size, it's a number three. Uh, yeah, number three. And it's 590 yards in this cake. But this colorway is called Echo Caves. I have two of these. There's another one somewhere back there. <laughs> but I found a top that I want to make. That I started making. It's called the Saratoga Poncho Top by Make and Do Crew. It is a free pattern. So I started the extra large size of it, and two cakes should be enough. Uh, I'm pretty sure, as long as my gauge is good, and I never check my gauge. But <laughs> I'm using a G hook. I'm using my cute little sheep with a uh, peppermint candy hook. <laughs> and so far, I've got this much done. <laughs> okay, there it is in the big scheme. This is, I think, 12 and a half rows. There it is up closer. So this will be. The outer part of no no this is the inner part so i gotta make two panels it'll be two of the exact same this and then i gotta let's see 12 and a half i think i gotta do to 17 rows so this is actually it goes this way so i gotta do to up, out to 17 and then it's a different stitch that starts and then i believe it's just um stitched together under the arm because it's kind of loose it's like a poncho and then you make another panel for the other side and then you stitch them together so far up and on the back uh to make a top I, i'm not exactly sure about that because i haven't gotten that far yet <laughs> but so far it's a really easy pattern it's uh just you start you start with the starting chain <laughs> and you did and then you start doing this sequence over and over again and you gotta do uh you gotta do 16 rows for the size that i'm doing but it's technically 17 because you do the first one and then you repeat it so many times. So I'm getting there. It's looking pretty good so far. <laughs> so I think it's going to be nice. It's supposed to be like a summery top. So this is a light three and it is 100% acrylic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I think it'll be nice. Like over a cami. But yeah. I just wanted to use up these mandala cakes that I had. I got them to test a pattern for someone. And I kept having trouble with the pattern and I didn't want to... Um, that to reflect on the designer so i just decided to not continue and i know it was probably me uh it was just a bad week <laughs> when she when she asked me to test it was just bad timing but uh anyway so i'm using it now for this this is really easy uh i'm just i just work on it when i watch tv and uh i think it's gonna be nice i think it looks pretty so far <laughs> i'm hoping to get it done pretty soon i've been finding some other cardigan patterns that i want to work on so i've been saving them on my rivalry uh, to get ready to work on them i'm going to start some halloween projects soon because uh i'm doing a halloween swap with someone during halloween but i want to make there's something i want to make for them and also i want to make a halloween countdown for jesse because we have a christmas one and a valentine's day one so i want to make the halloween one and I'm, there's also a easter thing that i want to make too <laughs> but uh yeah so that's what i'm working on today and like i said that's the saratoga poncho top by making do crew i'll link it in the description box below and uh yeah i think that's everything <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what you guys are working on today or this week and feel free to share any links or youtube channels or anything like that down below <laughs> and i'm gonna hop off here and go work on this I'm, i got some chicken cooking on the stove right now to shred to make chicken and dumplings with so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight i think it's like two something i'm wearing my b shirt i love this shirt <laughs> i just got it the other day and it just says be wild and free and it's the same thing on the back but larger but yeah so uh we saw a snake today in the wild <laughs> it's been a while since i've seen a snake in the wild that wasn't like in the road so it was cool to see just a snake doing its thing it was a gray rat snake and uh yeah we had fun hiking it was a little hard at parts because it was a it was a 0.9 mile so almost a mile walk out and then back and then plus to the car to and from the car so it was basically two miles and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Jesse fell a few times, but he's all right. And we're home now, chilling and killing. And uh, I'm going to cook later. And I did go by the thrift store and I picked up some things. But I'm not going to show that right now because it's in there on my table. <laughs> Anybody who ordered any bags yesterday, they've already been 
packaged and dropped off at the post office this morning. We dropped them off at like 9 in the morning when we were leaving to go hiking. So all your bags are on the way. <laughs> and I always, always, always try to ship super fast because I know when I order stuff, I want it like as soon as possible. So um, I appreciate it when people ship quickly. So I always try to ship quick if I can, which I, I usually can. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for, for supporting my shop. It means a lot, especially this past week, this update yesterday, because that's going towards Jesse's birthday party. It's not really a party. It's more like a few family members because we don't even have big parties anyways but we rented him a what is it called a bounce house this year he was really wanting one and they're kind of expensive but um we're renting it and we get to keep it all day <laughs> at my mom's house so they're gonna come set it up for us that morning and then jesse can play on it all day long <laughs> but we are gonna have a little tiny party for him and it's just gonna be grandparents my sister and her family and us so it's real small but we're gonna have you know cake and some pizza and bounce house for the two kids <laughs> seems a little excessive to rent one for two kids but it's just jesse and my nephew who is he'll he'll be 10 this year uh but i'm sure they'll have fun and uh we got a pinata <laughs> but again it's just for the two kids but you know we just put a little bit of candy in there and a lot of little toys because we're trying to get jesse off of so much candy but uh it's gonna be fun it's just gonna be a family day basically it's not really a party it's just hanging out at my mom's all day and jumping on a bounce house <laughs> but and this year I'm not making his cake I've been making his cake every year because I wanted to have homemade cakes but this year I just um I knew I wouldn't have the time because I'm busy with making videos making bags and just other life stuff you know Jesse started karate so we're doing that three times a week now and uh I'm just busy <laughs> I understand now all these busy moms I've always seen in my life you know doing stuff and um not feeling bad about it and it's because you know you got to do what you got to do to get your weeks going by you know <laughs> so we did order him a cake from walmart uh i gotta go pick that up friday it's a mario cake <laughs> and uh i gotta order the pizza i need to put that order in today or tomorrow so that we can go pick it up sunday before the party i remember i'd do that because i gotta make an order because it's a larger i think it's only like six pizzas because it's not many people so i don't know i don't know i'm blabbing now <laughs> but i know a lot of people like when i blab but uh yeah so that's what i'm working on let me know what y'all working on let me know if you made this top because it's really pretty I, I can't wait to get it done um i really like these colors of this mandela cake but if i like this top a lot i might buy maybe some of the cuter colors like the unicorn or something uh or gnome and make a rainbow or just a girlier looking top but this one's nice i thought it would be nice to wear over my bathing suit because uh, it's, it's kind of uh meshy <laughs> so it'd be nice to like cover up for my area in in between getting in and out of the pool so that's what i was thinking and you can the pattern's pretty easy to alter you can make it longer or wider you know depending on how many starting chains you do and how many rows you do so i like patterns like that where you can basically make it any size you want you know so yeah anyways <laughs> have blabbing i gotta go check my chicken because i gotta um you know keep it from burning and getting dried out <laughs> but i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys what is tomorrow tomorrow's thursday oh i need to make the um hashtag calendar cow fun hashtag fun calendar cow whatever it is i forgot uh video today or tomorrow or friday uh, i haven't even finished that I just, I just started making a bee i didn't do anything creative with it this month it's just too busy <laughs> but i'm gonna make the bee and that'll be it. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in that video <laughs> whenever that comes out. And yeah, bye guys.